Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn 3D eyedropper tool in Adobe Photoshop. So friends, the 3D material eyedropper tool in Adobe Photoshop is used to sample color from 3D models and apply them to other elements within the same scene. Now, the tool works similarly to the standard eyedropper tool, but it allows you to select color from a 3D materials and maps such as diffuse, bum, specular, etc. So friends, you can find a 3D material eyedropper tool in a toolbar over here. Okay, just long press over here and you can see a 3D material eyedropper tool. You can use a shortcut I to activate this tool. If you are in eyedropper tool and if you want to switch to 3D eyedropper tool, then you can use shift plus I to switch from one tool to another tool like this okay so right now I'm just selecting 3d material eyedropper tool so friends to use the 3d material eyedropper tool in Photoshop simply click on the 3d material or a map within your scene to select it but here you need to note that the 3d material eyedropper tool is only available in Photoshop with the 3d features enabled to access this tool, you will need to have the 3D panel open and the 3D object or a scene selected. Now friends, in this video we are going to learn how we can put this image into a 3D cube or a 3D object. So friends, first of all, if you don't have this 3D enable over here, then you can activate from Windows. Or you can also change your workspace to 3D for all the features inside this 3D. So friends, first of all, we need to use a 3D material eyedropper tool to select any object. And we paste that image into any 3D object from this tool, which is called a 3D material drop tool. So in this video, we are going to learn 3D material eyedropper tool as well as 3D material drop tool. This 3D material drop tool will use for paste that footage into the 3D model. So let's see practically how we can do that. So guys, first of all, we need to use a 3D eye material drop tool to select this picture. First of all, I am just unlock it and just click over here and it will be select this entire footage. Now to see the result, we need to create a 3D panel because right now we are in 2D. For that you need to go over here and here you need to select 3D. Fine. Now you need to go new mesh from layer and here you can see a different different by default preset over here like a cone, cube wrap, cube, cylinder, donut, hat, pyramid, ring, soda, sphere, wine bottle etc. By clicking on any of this object, you can directly create a 3D object. So right now, we are just creating a cube. So I'm just selecting this cube. Once you selecting this cube, your scene will be created in a 3D. Now it will be asking you, you are about to create a 3D layer. Would you like to switch to 3D workspace? Yes. If you not get this option, and if you want to manually switch on your workspace in 3D, you need to go to Windows Workspace and from here you can activate your 3D workspace. Without this, you can't use 3D eyedropper tool. So guys, as you can see, you can see our footage over here. Now this footage is applied on a 3D cube, but right now we can't see it. For that, we need to select this Move tool. And after selecting this move tool, we can get the category over here, which is orbit the 3D camera. We can orbit this camera. Right now we are watching this view from the Photoshop camera. So I'm just selecting any of here. And as you can see, by using the mouse, I can rotate this footage like this. Okay. So as you can see, our image is attached to this side of the cube. Now. If I want to attach my cube on a left, right, top and back, then what we have to do, first of all, we need to select this 3D eyedropper tool and then I am just selecting this footage. 
okay after the processing my footage is selected now we need to paste over here so for that we need to select this material drop tool by using shortcut G you can activate this I am just selecting this and simply click here and your footage will be paste over here so I am just selecting again my move tool and I am just rotating this okay as you can see my footage over here same you can also attach here I am just selecting my 3d eyedropper tool select this footage and after that I am selecting this material drop tool and select over here see this is a very useful tool for creating any 3d object in Adobe Photoshop like this I am also can get this footage on the top now I am just rotating this view to check this okay so friends you can also save this footage first of all I am showing you some property first is orbit 3d camera now this is for move your view this is a roll a 3d camera this is for pen you can just move your pen like this you can just move up down left right okay so now I am just save this footage in PNG and show you how the footage is look like so I just going to file save as so friends I am just going to my location and here I am saving my footage 3d cube fine and just save it okay and I am just press ok now I am going to that location and show you how our footage is look like so friends as you can see this is our footage I am just open it result so like this you can create a very creative footage in Adobe Photoshop using a 3d eyedropper tool and now we are going to apply a 3d eyedropper tool on my footage okay so for that I am just selecting 3d okay here I am selecting new mesh mass preset and now I am going to apply my footage on soda so after click on this my footage will automatically come into this soda can as you can see so friends like this you can create a lot of things using a 3d eyedropper tool in Adobe Photoshop this is a very simple tool you just need to practice yourself okay check all these properties and see what happened with this so thank you so much guys see you in the next video